Alrighty, it's time for another EC tuner test. So today I've got this mounted on my Bagara B14 HMR chambered in 6.5 PRC and we're going to use the 142 grain Sierra Match King and Accurate Mag Pro. Now we're going to shoot these at 2.95 cartridge overall length and we're going to shoot these at 58.5 grains. So what we're testing here is, I know this is a bad load, this shot um, about 2885 feet per second, 5.8 SD, but we had a 1.7 inch group, and all the other groups right around this charge weight also shot really bad. So what I wanna see is if this tuner can tune a load that we know is no good. So let's get out on the range, and uh, let's see if we can tune. Alrighty, we're out here on the range. This is my Bagara B14 HMR, chambered in 6.5 PRC, and we're testing out the EC tuner brake using the 142 Match King, and 58.5 grains of Mag Pro. This shot terrible. Last time I shot it, that's why we're using it today. Now it is a little breezy out today, but it's pretty consistent. Got about a 10 mile an hour crosswind from the left. But uh, it's a nice day, so, and I need to get these shot because I want to test out this tuner brake on the Bagara. Um, this is an Athlon Helos BTR Gen 2, 4 to 20 by 50. Just got this sided in so the gun has one round through it. It's uh, as far as being warmed up. So hopefully the scope's really close and we don't mess up all our dots because we got them pretty close together there. So it's all going to depend on how this is grouping. So first one here, tuner is set to zero. Going to try two shots and if they're touching um, then we'll um, consider that a good one and we'll move on. We're going to go in two increments on the uh, tuner break instead of one. I did one in the past and people said two is better. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so my uh, side-in process went pretty well because we're right there on the dock. Okay, so those two don't look too bad. But I think the key is to get two of them right next to each other to group the same. So we're going to go to tuner setting two on our tuner break. And we're going to move over to that number two target there you see. Alright, so that one dropped a mile low. Go to tuner three, which is kind of how we were getting. We were getting up to four inch groups with this load uh, before. We're going to go to tuner six. Next. Not seeing much for tuning going on here today. Which traditionally this Bagara has been a really good shooting gun. I've had a couple bullets that it just did not like. The 142 Match King and the 145 Match Burner. It really just didn't get along with. So I was trying to see if this tuner would uh, kind of make it agree with those this bullet. So. All right, so uh, doesn't really look like we're doing anything there, does it? Let's go to tuner zero again, which is now tuner 10, and see what these two do. So 
I guess the brake can't tune every single gun in every group. This is the first one that I would say has been a failure so far. Alright, we'll shoot at number 10 there. Is that a sign of it starting to tighten up just a little bit there? I want to go back to the original tuner position zero. I've got two more rounds loaded. I was going to do like a confirmation group um, with our best one. I was going to load 10 more down and come back, but I'm going to go back to zero. That seems like it was our best group that we shot. Um, and I'm going to go back to that same target. And I'm going to put two more in there and uh, see if these group in there with those other two. If they do, you know, I guess tuner position zero is, is going to be our best position, but I'm not really all that optimistic. Hmm. Yeah, this seems to be like a total failure for the tuner brake. Everything's tight. I mean, the barrel's a little warm, but it's not, it's not terribly warm. It's, uh, you know, I just shot 15 shots, but we did take our time with that. But, woo, that's pretty bad. All right, so taking a look at the target here. It's quite messy. It's a little bit hard to follow, but I'll try to walk you through it here. So that first group on the left is with the tuner set to zero. Two shots went into 0.44. I thought we were on to something there. Then you'll see that two inch group just to the right of that. That is after I shot everything and I went back to that zero setting. So clearly not a good setting there. Then we moved over to setting two. We did a 1.8 inch two shot group. Again, doesn't look like it's grouping at all. Then we moved over to tuner setting four. We shot that 1.2 inch two shot group. Again, doesn't look like to be grouping at all. Then moved over to six and we ended up with a 1.6 inch group. Moved over to eight with a 1.6 inch group and then moved over to tuner setting 10, and I guess it kind of tightened up. We shot that 0.70 for two shots, and then like I said, we went back over and tried that zero again because it looked like maybe that was where we wanted to be, and no luck. So basically, in this small test, um, I don't think we accomplished anything. Um, that's why I kind of quit the test and um, quit wasting any more 6.5 PRC ammo and brass because clearly this isn't gonna work in this combination. I know this isn't a good load, but I wanted to see if we'd be able to tune it because I've had so much success tuning so far. Now, our velocity was 29.16 for the average with a 15.1 SD. So I don't understand, you know, it seems like they're decent loads. A 15.1 SD over 15 shots doesn't seem too bad. So I guess my, my gun just really hates MagPro. I haven't got to shoot at all with MagPro. I guess the tuner break isn't undefeated yet, but it is two for three on my videos as far as being able to tune. So make what you will of that. I don't think it'll tune everything, but it will tune some groups. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.